morning. Um, I'm just going to use the large barrels all over today uh, in the standard length. A lot of people are asking if I sometimes um, do it direct from damp with the barrels. I do quite often. I just love the round brush. I love the sleekness you get through it. But you can equally get a bouncy blow dry look for this. For anybody who struggles with the round brush, this is a really, really good technique. Um, I've washed my hair this morning in Herbal Essence, believe it or not, the silicone free one. I've used the Red Bedhead TG Shampoo, uh, conditioner, sorry, which I love. Um, and then I've used, I have to remember what I've used because I use so many different products. I've used Frizzies, John Frieda Frizzies, and I've used my Dream Coat Cocktail, the coconut one and I've used dream coat. Still quite a lot of confusion with this. There's two sorts. This is the supernatural one, which needs heat activating to work. So by heat activating, equally the barrels will work as much as a brush. So don't be put off by that. Um, the other one, for anybody with naturally curly hair like mine, you can spray it all over and it will stop the frizziness, but it doesn't need heat activating. That's the only difference between them. I use both and they both work equally well. I could leave this to dry naturally now with this on and it would still combat the frizz, but I think probably um, the other one has just that added benefit that it doesn't need activating. So the key to the round brush blow dry, the round barrel blow dry, is make sure your hair is quite sleek. If you've got naturally curly hair and you haven't brushed it through and you're trying to just pick up a piece of hair like that, put the barrel in the end and wrap it, the hair will stay crinkled on the barrel. So the key is, is to really comb it through so that you get quite, get your roots quite flat. Anybody with naturally curly hair right to the roots, obviously you know that's going to be difficult, but really comb it as flat as you can as soon as you take your towel off as soon as you put your product on because that will really help already before it starts drying and if your hair is too dry before you start blow drying it you're never going to get rid of that frizz and that curl at the root however hard you try especially just with the barrels um my hair's damp i'd say it's probably not far off the right um place to start drying it <clears throat> if it was a little bit too dry because i've been and put my clothes on, had my breakfast. I would just spray my dream coat just through the ends again, just to wet it down. We can just equally do this with a bit of water. Um, I normally, when I apply my dream coat, about 30 to 40 pumps. Don't be afraid to put too much on because you just can't. It, it just it just doesn't go sticky, so you'll never feel like you've got too much on it and it's a great way of wetting it down especially if you're doing a, a touch up blow dry in the afternoon and you just need a bit of moisture it's great for that i've also this morning used my uh three more inches root spray which i absolutely love um anybody using root sprays or mousses when you're just using the barrels if you leave it to dry for too long uh, the, they'll start to go a bit crispy and then you just will not get it out. So if that's happened, just use your comb and just comb it through just to get the crispiness out of it before you do your barrel curl. That will really, really help. Okay, so I'm going to go in with um, high speed, medium heat. I never, ever use anything different. So I always, always start at the top. Just have it. So I'm going to just show you, so if I was doing that top section, anybody with natural curls, just make sure it's really sleek. There's two ways you can do it. You can either hold your hair out like that and let the barrel, I'll just show you, let the barrel grab it. So you can either do it like that, whichever you find easiest, and then just let the barrel do the work and just follow it up to your roots. You can either do it that way, or I'll show you the other way in a minute. Try not to take too big a section so that your hair fits over the barrel. You can see mine's just flopping off the end of it there. Just pull it off, or just re-pick up your section. You can just do it on your next one. Try not to put too much tension on it if you pull it in and out. You don't want to be putting too much strain on the hair, but sometimes 
if your hair's been a little bit crinkled or quite damp, just go up and down just to make sure it's smooth on the barrel. And just keep feeding those little frizzy bits just over the barrel like that. That'll really help to smooth them through. I do a, a few cool shots just on these top ones, but I don't tend to bother on the rest of it. Just make sure it's dry, obviously, the wetter your hair before you start, the longer it's going to take. Okay, I'll just turn that one off. I don't normally bother turning it off, but I'll just show you. So you can see how much height I've got through taking it right to the root. And you've got a nice bouncy curl. So what I would do now is just flop that over to that side and then start on the next one. Again, if you are the sort of person that likes to turn it off in between each section and you want it as smooth as possible, just literally just comb it through. You can see my hair's crinkly, so you really want to get that smooth. So this is the other option if you want, if you don't do if you don't do the one where you pick it up like that. I literally just get my barrel to the end of the hair. You can see because it's quite wet there, it's not wanting to grab it. I'll just, show it just go a little bit higher up. No. It doesn't want to grab it today. There you go. That will happen sometimes. Especially if your hair's quite straight and quite strong, but just work with it. Don't be afraid. Don't start thinking, oh my god, my hair's not attaching to the barrel. The drier your hair is, the better it will attach, but obviously the wetter your hair is, the better your curl you're going to get, so it's a balance. So again, go all the way to the root and just smooth those root bits through. A lot of the reason people with naturally curly hair use the round brush is to get rid of that frizziness at the root but as long as you work it over like that that will really help do a little cool shot on it and then just take it off and just pop it out of the way while you do your next one You see, because my hair is quite wet look, just doesn't want to grab the bowl. But it will, just work with it. If it doesn't want to grab the bowl, just hold it that way look. Quite good to see what can go wrong with it and then when it goes wrong for you, you know you're not on your own with it. Now it's drier, it should be easy to grab it. Keep your filters clean, ladies. That's a must, must, must. Absolute essential. If your barrels aren't grabbing very well, sometimes it means your filters need a clean. So essential. There's lots of um, lots of ideas of how to clean it. Lots of techniques. 
so you can just watch some of the videos and learn how to do it, but it's so essential. See the importance. I've got quite a, a strong crinkly bit of my hairline there, so it's really essential to really smooth that onto the root. Otherwise, all you'll get is a dry crinkle bit. And I think that's possibly where a lot of people with frizzy roots are going wrong. I just want to just smooth it over. tweak all these curls later. Don't be afraid if they look a bit ridiculous while you're doing it because you can just go over them again at the end. As long as your hair's still warm while you're styling it, they'll still curl really well. I think it's amazing that you can get that kind of curl from damp just by holding a brush, a barrel in your hair. It's not really hard work. You're not having to keep using a brush and a hair dryer, and yet you can get a real salon blow dry finish. You can see the shine on the hair, that's where the dream coat is being activated. Again, I'm just really making sure the hair is really smooth, so it doesn't crinkle on the barrel. The hair I'm doing from here now is from the back of my head. For anybody who struggles with the back of your hair, bring it round to the side. And that one there is pretty much from the middle of the back of my head. So rather than try and get your arms up in the air, do it this way, it's a lot easier. You can see the sections you haven't done in between, just put them up at random. This one here literally is the back of my head, just below my crown. And just here's a few little bits under there that I've just tweaked right there, I've missed one. Don't worry if you miss any, just go back over it at the end.
just going to comb this through a bit here. You can see where it goes crinkly at the roots. So if you just comb it through, it just helps to keep it sleeker going on to the bar. got bits underneath that always go straight so just switch to a smaller barrel for the underneath and they'll hold a bit tighter the other thing is as well a lot of people say they, their hair gets tangly when they use it if you just do this and then pick up the next section then yeah they will get tangled so always hold on to the curl when you let go of it you tend to do that technique at the front but always hold it like that and then it won't it won't tangle into the rest of it I'm going to bring some pieces back over from the top that I did earlier. And pick up some of these pieces here and bring them over this way just so I get a nice lot of height in the top. And to get a bit more height in the top, just pull away from the roots like that. And then you let go. Look, it just really gives it a bounce up there. Also, you can do this. You can pull, pull the barrel in at the roots and that will really help to give it a bit more bounce. And I'm just going to switch sides now. That just is my air up a few seconds breather as well in between because I don't turn it off but in between they say not to have it running for more than 15 minutes at any one time um, if I turn mine off and on ah, eating my hair if I turn mine on and off in between sorry <laughs> uh, my air app gets overheated so I don't tend to so I just keep it running but obviously it's all, again, down to individual choice. I'm just going to do exactly the same on this side. Then just bring it right into the roots, smooth your roots through. Just drop it over that way, just so it's out of the way from the roots. Just a little thank you as well to anybody who's followed my Instagram page. Uh, it's really nice of you all. Just, um, through lockdown like anybody else trying to just find some interest really and clothes are a massive part of my life so it's quite nice just to share share some of the links to some of the things I wear maybe a few beauty tips along the way it's, it's all very new to me so just bear with me um, I've also in the process of setting up a YouTube channel 
but again, it's all very new to me, so I'm not particularly good at it at the moment, but uh, I've got a bit of time so I can uh, have a play around with it and see how I get on, but thank you to anybody who's supporting me. Any advice as well is truly grateful. So again, this hair here is from the back of my head, from the other side. You can see it's a lot easier doing it that way than it is trying to get your barrel right up in the air. So you can see how crinkly my hair is. So. That's obviously because it started to dry too much, so in the normal way, probably it might be better to just wet that down a little bit. Otherwise, again, you'll struggle to get your natural curl out of it. is my real stubborn piece of hair here so sometimes I'll either go in with a smaller barrel just to curl it a bit tighter again just remember to smooth your roots especially through this top area it's not so urgent through the rest but through that top area, you need to really get them quite sleek. And pick up random pieces just through that top, just to get them out a little bit tighter. the other barrel and I'm just going to turn it under a little bit. Normally I go back but I'm just going to turn it under a little bit just to show anybody with a big fringe that's the right way. Yep. Still gets confusing isn't it? So I'm just going to pick up pick up that fringe. So very often I would take it back but I just want to show you how you can bring it under. You get a nice, nice lift 
off the whole head and just bring it up. Just like that black line. That's just lifted it, look, and then you can still brush it back and just lifted it off the forehead. It's quite nice then sometimes just to frame your face with a few curls. And just lift some of these up and just bring them in the other way. So this is using the barrel from the other side now. So pretty much once you've got your hair curled all over, you can then just play around with it. But I said to you, if it's still warm, you can, it's pliable, but you've already got the smoothness without having to use a brush. So then it's up to you what you do with it after that. So obviously I've curled all this back and now I'm just giving it a slightly different direction so I get kind of a multi-direction curl so it's not too structured. Do the same here. Pick up a few random bits. So the idea really is to be not too not too fussy with it. Don't be afraid to put the barrel in at different angles. Then we get that look nice big fancy, fancy look with it. I very rarely brush my hair once I've styled it. I tend to just put my fingers through it, shake it around and then spray it with a little bit of Paul Mitchell Freeze and Shine. But I very, very rarely brush it. I know a lot of people would be really tempted to go and put the brush through those curls, but the less you do to it now, the better. So I'll probably tweak a little bit with this, um, play around with it, but Basically, that's gone from being curly hair to a smooth, bouncy blow dry, just using the uh, the barrels, which isn't bad, really, is it? Considering you've not had to use two tools on it, so yeah, see how you go with it.